Hi, this is Catherine Dow with Network in Action Eastside. Today I have joining me PJ Glassy at the X Gym. PJ, how are you today? Yeah, I'm doing great. And you? I'm wonderful. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm really excited to have you um, join us today. Uh, as a member of the X Gym, your method and technique is so unique. So I'm really excited for you to share um, you know, with everyone else more about how you got to where you are and what you know what spurred you to create the method you do and and why mm -hmm. yeah well it all started back in the 80s when i was uh, getting my degree in exercise science at spu and that's where i discovered that traditional training that everyone's really doing still today sets and reps kind of stuff was invented in 1891 and so i thought wow there's got to be a better way so the thing that the most valuable thing that I learned from my degree at SPU was how to read research. So I started studying the research. And then after I graduated, I was a personal trainer, mostly out of clients' homes, and they were my guinea pigs. And so based on that research, I was trying different experiments with them. They thought it was fun because, you know, it's different stuff. And some stuff worked and some stuff didn't. And I kept the stuff that worked. And the program started evolving to where I came up with some very specific and unique exercise methods. And through time, they, become, they became more efficient. So less time was required and better results. And so of course they were enthusiastic about that and they started telling all their friends and family and I got overbooked. So then I had to scale myself. So that's when I opened the X gym in 98. And then since then continuing to grow and moving and expanding. And now we have the Kirkland X gym where people come and train live. We also have a big online training arm of the X gym that we had since 2018. And then we have an app exercise app. So that's worldwide. And those are the ways that uh, we help people now. That's fantastic. Thank you for sharing that story. And I was curious, I didn't know if maybe um, the online training that you offer was spurred by the pandemic or if that's something you started ahead of the trend. <laughs> yeah, we did. And, and uh, we started it a couple of years before that. I was training people online since 2016, but the technology wasn't quite ready yet to go with everybody. So as technology got better by 2018, it was good enough. And so that's when we started training a lot of our clients online, whether they were traveling or whether they just would choose to stay home because it was more convenient. And our methodology lends itself really well to online training because we're functional fitness using very specific and unique exercise methods that I developed. And so people can do it at home really easily. All you need is enough space to lay down on a floor somewhere and do a snow angel without hitting furniture. And that's it. And we usually just start people with body weight stuff. They don't even need equipment. And then as their program progresses, they can get some floor sliders and they can get a tubing set. And now we have hundreds of exercise options that, that we can choose from. The convenience makes it so easy. And I take mm -hmm. it, um, you know, your clients can really choose if they want to meet in person or over, uh, you know, online sessions and kind of mix and match to what yeah. works best with their schedule. Right. Yeah. yeah, it is. And since it only takes 21 minutes and it's just twice a week, it's really easy to fit into any busy schedule. And most of our clients are very busy. The biggest part of our bell curve is 40 to 70 years old because those are busy people. And those are also people that have been injured or don't want to get injured. And our program is also designed for that. And it's also people that don't want to get bigger and bulky, you know, like a bodybuilder, which traditional training was designed for. And our program is designed to tone, define. So you look and feel fit and you get a lot stronger with a lot of uh, more endurance, but without the bulk. Now that's, that's, our main, our main client, and that's the people in the 40 to 70 age group. However, we have people as young as teenagers. And as I see our oldest right now is 83, who still has the record for the air chair. That's just a squat wow. in the air, just holding down really <laughs> low in a squat position. And she, she was three minutes and 58 seconds of really good form, 
holding in the air, like you're sitting on a chair, but there's no chair there. Mm -hmm. And so we, uh, we give people the Betsy challenge to try to work up and see if they can beat her and nobody has yet. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm ready for the Betsy challenge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that um, the method is 21 minutes because I think, you know, what's so great about it, it still allows you to fit that in with other activities you you may already do, right? Mm -hmm. um, right. And, and so it's not like a, a burden. It's an amazing um, piece that you can add on to help support those activities. Right. And PJ, if you had one tip of advice to offer when it comes to fitness to people, like someone who's looking to start working out, or maybe they have been, but they're looking to change their routine. Um, what would that be? I, I know I'm mm. limiting you to one. I know it's hard. <laughs> it is hard. Yeah. As far as fitness goes to get into exercise, I would say start small. So at the X gym, of course, we help people find the smallest starting point for them. That's appropriate for them. But for people who are not um, able to join the next gym, maybe outside of the area or for whatever reason, I tell them, start by walking around your block. Start small, set your goal small, set that bar so low you can roll over it and then build on it with time because starting small will help you build the habit and do that small first step until it's too easy. It's just ridiculous, too easy. And then add another tiny step because people tend to overdo it too fast and then they burn themselves out or they become disappointed because it's just too much too soon. And so if you start slow and build the habit into your lifestyle, then over time you can get there and people shouldn't be in a rush. I mean, everybody wants to get in shape really fast right away, but that's kind of a human flaw that we all have. We just want, want it now. But this is something that needs to be a lifestyle habit that you do forever. And the best way to do that is to progress slowly with small steps. Great. Well, I love that piece of advice. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you for sharing. And what's the best way, PJ, if someone wanted to speak to you um, about the X Gym or come try a class? And what's the best way to contact you? Best contact is pj at xgym.com. And that would also be the way to find out how to come to the club to do a class or to do an online session. In both cases, uh, the intro is free. Mm -hmm. And so then also if people wanted to are interested in the app, they could email me for more information on that. And we also have a brain type test that I've developed over the decades uh, for people, shortcut tips, tricks, and hacks so they can figure out their best hacks for their particular brain type. And there's 16 brain types. So we're, at, we're mind and body and I'm a biohacker also. So I help people figure out the best course of action for them for exercise, for brain tricks and tips and hacks and for nutrition stuff. Awesome. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. And I look forward to uh, continuing to get to know you better and uh, also the experience at the X Gym. It's been amazing. Yeah, right on. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Take care. Yeah, thanks. You too.